Hello and welcome back to a new video, where today I'm going to be showing you how to use GIMP. This will be sort of a food adverts, tutorial and summary, going over our old skills. There will be a card up here of all of our previous videos, where you can see the skills that we are going to be using today, as well as the link to download GIMP in the description. So let's continue. We're going to go to folder, and we, we're going to want to drag in our photos. So the first photo I'm going to drag in is our background, which is this field. It's a photo I took last summer and I quite like it. We're then going to drag in our other picture, the box of cereals. We just drag it into this part here now, because there's already a picture in it, so it can't go anywhere. And as you can see, we can't see it, and that's because it's the layer behind the field. So what we want to do is drag it in front, and there we go. We're now going to scale this layer down so it's the right size. You can do it two ways. You can use the arrows and set what it you want it to do, or you can type in a number. And then press make sure you press enter first so it then scales down the other side, so it squares down cubically, so it's the same every side. Then just press the scale button and it scales down. We're now going to zoom into the box. You can use two fingers on a tra uh, trackpad, on a mouse pad with your, on your computer, trackpad, or you can use the control and mouse wheel on a physical mouse. You then just click about the box. There we go. And so it's selected, and then we press enter. We will now want to right click this and press alpha channel. Alpha channel means it doesn't have a background. We then press con if now if we deleted it, it would delete the box, not the background. So what we want to do is press Control i and then delete. Control i means select everything around object, like this. You can then move it about if you're not happy with its position. So I'll have it there. And if you notice, if you bring it in or out, anything that was outside of the box when photoshopping, or not photoshopping, when cropping, will still be there. So just try and make sure what everything you need taken out is taken out. But we're fine with this. So now I'm not finished, there's a few other things I want to do to it. So what we're going to do is right click this, and we're going to duplicate layer. You can do it like that, or if you remove half the layer, you can just click it on it and duplicate it down here. Two ways to duplicate your layer. We're now going to zoom in a bit more, and I want the box to be black and white, while the bowl to be the right colour. So we're going to select the bowl with our lasso again, and you can press to put as many points in as you want, or you can hold down the mouse button to draw the line around the mouse. Just depends what you feel more comfortable with and what ends up looking nicer. The more points you put in, the more detailed they'll be. We're now going to press enter, control i, delete. So now if we minimise the other two, you can see there's no box around it, which is good. So what we now want to do is select our middle layer, which is the box. We want to make sure we are not got anything selected, so you might just need to draw a shape in the lasso in the grey area. And now press colour, hue section, uh, sorry, colour. We're then going to go to components, extract component, and now we're going to remove the blue. Okay. And as you can see, the box is back, but it is, for some reason, has added the rest of our background. Which isn't what we want, so you, you may have to just do this again. There we go, enter, control I, delete, and now we're finished. We've got our field with our box of cereals and a colourful bowl of cereals inside our black and white one. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.